What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done, a huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day. everybody uh, i'm at class sorry i am a little bit late i uh, just got a new bike and i uh, just uh, didn't plan as well but uh here and um my apologies it won't happen again um can i ask a question yeah brian um because you're uh pretty late does the class still end at the same time that it was gonna end oh i guess that's an all right question no it, yeah it will end at the same time we won't go long just in case you have another class to get to or anything like that i have a question okay. uh yeah brianna um uh, be, uh okay so because you're like can we we all leave early and we get a's no i don't know why you would think that brianna Isn't that like a thing or if the teacher's not 15 hearing minutes that, right? yeah 15 minutes yeah, a guaranteed day for the day yeah right i don't here. know where that came from uh it's kind of like the richard gear hamster thing it just everybody all of a sudden thought what? it and uh google it later i guess i don't yeah i wish Sorry, maybe, maybe about last yes. question last for me anyway since you're really sweaty and taking off like all of your over stuff yeah. can i can we take off our shirts yeah well you can't be shirtless and neither will i be okay. um no i'm just gonna have to sweat i'm taking off some it looked of my like coat that's where stuff. you were going you took off your coat then your jacket yeah. then your little tweed no yeah but i am gonna keep the button up on okay um so yeah um i have a question I, okay. sorry i i I'll, I'll take this and then i have a statement to make but go ahead okay while you're not wearing your little tweed can i wear your little tweed mm. You know what, Brian? I it's actually nice I wouldn't really mind if you did. I um oh. I don't want to open the door to people wearing all my clothes so that we're ending it there. I will say it's very sweaty. That's why I took it off. Okay. Then I'll put it on. Question after your statement. Noted. Um so just my statement now is that because I'm late, none of the timing or the way the class works will be changing. Uh it's gonna be the same it's exact class from here on it's forward. It's gonna have to change. Because you're late. That's not my question. Sorry. Go ahead, Brianna. That's not true. But what, Why? Okay. That is very true. I take science. I take AP science. Every action has a causa- causation. That's well, um, the, 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 ra- the causation ra- and the reaction here is that I'll just teach to go through today's lesson a little faster. And you'll have to go even faster because we've spent way too much time well, that's on these questions. Advanced placement college class. So she's yeah. advanced for college. I yeah. hope you're understanding that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So <laughs> Thank you. So you're, it's like grad school level class. Is that what we're saying? I'm kind getting of? college credit for that class. But you're in college. Are you sure you're just not in a science uh, class? It's advanced placement it's college. It's advanced for this college placement. Okay. Thank you. She's well, in the top 30% of students. Thank you. 30%. Thank you. I actually never understood percentiles, but I, I am chose, a history teacher. Yeah. Uh, what was your question? And then I really want to get to this so that you can be prepared I'm for the sure exam. I'm sure you do. Okay. And if you really wanted to, you would have been here on time. So- why what makes it okay for a brian to wear your tweed you were like kind of excited about that what's up with that i just didn't care and i'm ready to start the class and question is the syllabus shot is the syllabus totally shot (laughs) yes from the lateness of course not the syllabus shot of course not it's a long semester no the syllabus is not shot the syllabus is fine it's whatever the opposite of shot is okay the opposite of shot put together okay so it's put together i think Mm. we can all for a moment agree that brian wearing my coat looks like a little kid wearing his dad's jacket to a bar mitzvah and it's very funny to me and all i I can kind of see that assumed bar mitzvah there uh i i do have a question now that i you know, I've been going through the pocket and the tweed, and you have a lot of cigarettes. Oh. Pocket cigarettes? Lucy's? Do you have Lucy's? 
pocket cigarette? No Lucy's? more questions about my life. Well, oh, I, no I, I, it's not about life. your life. It's about the jacket. Uh, and, and I'm a little confused because in you, past, you've lost jacket past, privileges, past, Brian. No, 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 please don't. Give him the jacket back. Don't give him jacket back. Strip the kid of his jacket. That's not okay. Take his other shirt off. That was an accident. Oh my gosh, all his buttons are coming up. I thought. Right. Why did you button my jacket button into your shirt? Brian, you didn't that was an accident. This. Why are you ripping it off? All right, all right unbutton the cuff. You're Lucy's. They're everywhere. No, you're not slipping on my Lucy's no. like a log no, in not a river. Anymore. No, you're not. My God. Wow. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm really thrown off by it being 15 later minutes than I thought it would Syllabus be. Syllabus is shot. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> it's the Man Dog Pod. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here yet again. Um, we are here with our lovely guest. But who are we? I'm Dan Lippert with my co-host Ryan Rosenberg. Hello, Ryan. I'm Ryan. Hi. I, uh, I I reversed the intro, and I'm not blaming this for for the being the reason. But our guest Tony Charlene was pulling up her water bottle so gingerly. As if it would ruin the episode scared. if anybody heard yeah. that she was drinking water right Bang. now. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> I was very scared. Okay, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. How are you? Uh, good. Good. Uh, Go ahead and have either. a sip. I'll introduce Ben and you can okay. do the water. I, 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 okay. Uh, unless you wanted to say something. No, no, no. I just don't want to disturb because I, I know any movement will... Um... I think I might have scared you a little too much with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great so far. And you know who else is doing great? Another guest, Benjamin Green. Oh, thank you. Good good to be here, guys. It's great to have you here, Ben. Is now a good time for me to drink my water? Sure. Oh, thank I'm going to well, take a sip, too. Somebody has to not be drinking because I have ice in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> and uh, just oh, no. a reminder, when I sat down... Dan said, oh, that's old water. <laughs> that's I, that is not what I said. Yes, that yes. That is not how it happened. Yes. I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't. Because they were already pre-poured. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so nice. And then they have these lovely vases, uh, which you should make for merch uh, and have it be like a dog. That is a good out. idea. That is Thank a good you. idea. Yeah, these cost ex- uh, expensive, so I think, they're <laughs> quite, <laughs> I think they might be hard to make. But go yeah. ahead. Well, tell, tell your version of events. Have, oh, okay. And I dare you to disagree with me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, these these, these vases, these things that you, you pour from. I guess it's not a vase. Uh, so cute. And you're like, um, that's old water. <laughs> True. That or is false? how it happened, but that's okay. different than what you said happened initially, which is well, when you sat down. I said the water was old. Okay. This sh- water is fresh. Fresh, it's from, fresh, from, fresch from the tap. <laughs> the tap. Glacier. <laughs> Glacier. <laughs> yeah, fresh is. Uh, what do we say? That? No, it's from the. <laughs> No, it's, refri- it's refrigerator. <laughs> it's filtered bottle. by refrigerator. Oh, okay. It's All filtered. Right, fr- I just don't, wouldn't know what to call that. The tap. Wait, of the how, often you- <laughs> how often do you change that filter? Um, the uh, uh, <laughs> I'll take that as a never. <laughs> every time the thing goes off, which is six months. Oh, oh good. I six will say, months? Yes. Wow. The filters are expensive. They're like $60. Oh. Okay. And um, this $60 one. Six months and 10 bucks a month. Okay. You're okay with that? Yeah, I guess it's okay. <laughs> I don't love it. But I'm not I'm okay paying with it, it, but yeah. yeah. Well, in Please a sense. Please continue. Um, uh, but this filter has not been changed, and the thing went off about a month ago. Okay, so you're close. This is what you're serving. But you. <laughs> you're so, why, so why are you making our. You're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> She's been cut off. Uh, <laughs> you don't get anything. argument of like, I didn't say it was old water. And then you're like, hey, this no, water has been sitting in, no the vase in, the in the room in open air for like a week now. Okay. That's what I was the trying to communicate. The water that comes from the fridge that the filter has not been changed in over a month, and you only have to change it every six months. Oh, come on. <laughs> i hope you didn't use the bidet that filter needs to be changed also i did not you don't have a filter on your bidet Uh, i think they do have well then why did you drink out of it (laughs) (laughs) because it was delicious (laughs) wait i have a bidet why would you have a filter because the water coming out needs to be filtered otherwise you're getting like Mm. la groundwater in your ass interesting whoa (laughs) Interesting. Yeah, Ooh, what's okay. more important, clean drinking water or clean wash water? 
Why must we choose? Both. Tap water is definitely good enough for my butt, I think. Yeah. You're okay with that? Well, yeah. I'd, I'd be good drinking it. Oh, that's enough for you? <laughs> and you're okay with that? You'd be drinking it. Yeah. Do you yeah. drink tap? You're serving it to us right now. I drink tap. It's not I'm, yeah, I'm totally comfortable with it's that. It's through I a filter think I... that should be changed, but if, uh, they give you that early time. It's like mm-hmm. your oil change. <laughs> yeah, they say 3,000. You can really go 5,000. Yes. <laughs> they give you an extra 20%. How does the water taste? Tell me if it tastes unfiltered. I will not taste it. <laughs> <laughs> I will taste it. I still think like filtered water is like a little bougie. Mm -hmm. Um, Like tap water is sort of what at least I feel like I deserve. But you're from a city where you could drink tap water. Yeah. You you mean like in New York, the tap water is really good. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you think Man- that Manhattan that tap water is better ever heard in big cities or better in small <laughs> cities? Uh, say that again. Do you think that tap water is better in big cities or better in small cities? I think it depends on where those small cities are in big cities. Yeah, like like if it's mountain water, I'd rather have that. Like a like a small town, you like that water is good. You think? Yeah, but I mean, like some states with small sure you know, yeah right, so right. sadly I don't want to drink bottles. any water from Mississippi kind of yeah. I, I will say water from a hose, like when I like when I was a kid drinking water from a hose, delicious. Delicious water. Absolutely and you can kind of taste some of the hose, am I Yeah, right? absolutely. Whatever I, I whatever that, oh, that yes. is, love it. Part, it's partially because it's so cold? Maybe, but it but but there's just a certain taste to it that's like, yes. And and maybe it's that Pavlovian sort of like, I'm playing and having fun and like yeah. I'm hydrating for the first time. Like it's summer, sort of I'm like a kid. His, yeah. Like totally. it, maybe that's some of it, but like hose water as a kid. I haven't tried it. Um I got a hose out back if we want to do that after. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Let's have a water taste <laughs> regular tap, I hose will. tap. I, and Dan's I, supposedly filtered fridge. I can't it's believe not it. filtered. <laughs> I can't believe you're betraying. I feel so attacked. That, what, what's terrible is the the flip from how how complimented I was for putting out the waters. That was a big flip. To now uh, being felt, uh, being made to feel like I was like a liar or that I'm poisoning you everybody. Ah. You were. <laughs> I think it was just a moment of confusion because there was two different qualities of water on the table. Is that the truth? Old water left out that you had warned about in what I think is a, a good. Thing. Nobody had even poured the water yet. Right. The old water. The old water. Well, technically, there shouldn't have been old water to pour, right? <sighs> <laughs> I, I, just appre- I, just I don't appreciate agree. the honesty, honestly. Yeah. But, yeah. If you here's my question: If you finish your nice iced fresh water, I'll pour. Are you going to pour yourself? Yeah. Uh, now he'll pour. Absolutely. <laughs> now he'll pour. You this were is like pour a murder before. trial. <laughs> this is very intense. <laughs> Let the record show now he'll pour. Now he'll pour. <laughs> now like, that we he's can't really know what it would be. <laughs> it's, when you're under attack for something like this, you just know that you're dealing with someone else's problems. Standards, you know? Yes. It's my, not... Yeah, my problem. <laughs> my problem. I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, I had an old cup of water on my nightstand the other day, and I really needed some water. Yeah. And it really hurt. It uh, almost hurt my throat. Hurt? Just because it was disgusting, uh, and my mouth was already really dry. Yeah. So it almost tasted like metallic, mm. or like you know that thing. Why does old mm-hmm. water get? De- is it just literal dust in there? Why does Maybe. it get so gross? I think it. I think it has something to do with it, like oxidizing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that is the full extent of my right. ability to explain what that means. I like totally agree with you and have no other information to add to yes. make it right. So then you know this is going to be bad. <laughs> By your own logic, you know this is going to be bad. I, it will do what I need, which is hydrate me. And, and your guests. A oxidization. And satiate my parched mouth. Yeah. And my guests, if they choose. Yeah. I'm going to have some more of this ice water. Doesn't seem like they need I bet you the people at home are absolutely riveted on this literal water gate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is water this gate. This is water gate. <laughs> wow. I, I I would be interested. <laughs> um, do you, uh, we're going to keep going on water. Do you go to a new city and Google if you can drink tap water when you're in the hotel? Yes. Or the Airbnb or wherever. You do. That's a regular. I will say it's usually after I've drank and drinking you're like is this good uh so yeah and then i'm like is that okay actually yeah 
Um, but yes, I do. I yeah. feel like that's how Same. I do most things. I make the mistake two, maybe three times, <laughs> and then I go, should I be doing this more? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll ask a local. I'm like, you drink the tap water? What's going on? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty water sensitive, so I think that's why this really this really struck a nerve for me, because yeah. I don't I won't drink a bad water. Or like even like, uh, I, I know certain people who I won't sell out here who like, I don't like the way their cups taste. Ooh. Yeah. Like they got dusty cup. Uh huh. And I get the water pour, and I'm like, ah, I can't Ooh, drink really water at your house. I got to bring my own. I that's really I agree, and 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 like certain cups or plastics will have a taste to them, and certain like just like mm-hmm. I prefer a glass over, you know, these other things. Don't worry, I'm on it, guys. Tony's Tony's I'm about, I'm about to have to do her job that she was assigned. I love it. Nice, nice job. A perfect Good execution. Job. That's an interesting thing. That I have this, I think about this sometimes, the difference between like neat and clean. My mm. dad, extremely neat. His house is very neat, but his dishes are all dirty. Mm. Even when you take them out of the dishwasher, somehow they didn't get cleaned well enough. And I don't know if it's something that he is doing or what, but the cups always need a hand rinse before I use them. Mm. You know what I mean? But his house looks very clean because it's neat. You mm-hmm. think it's a dishwasher issue or it's yeah. a li- it's been a lifetime? Quite honestly, I think he said he's using soap from the 99 cent store that he has also like watered down because he's used most of the soap. Mm. So he's essentially mm. washing his dishes with water. So like water. I'm I'm done with the soap. I'm throwing that under the water and getting some more life out of it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. That's maybe. I'm, I'm familiar. That's my guess. Now, yeah. not to get very meta about this. But have you talked to him about this, or will you him listening to this episode be the first time he hears? I've talked this to him idea. about it. I lived at his house as an adult, like in college for a little bit, and we talked about it a couple times. Yeah, but he, he'll definitely talk to me about it after hearing the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, uh, he listens to this. Mm-hmm, he loves it. Oh, he'll love this story especially. What's his it's name? About him, Jack. Hi, Hi Dad. Jack. Yeah, I think the ninety nine cent store comes with a lot of issues. I agree. Let's we, talk about our them. first apartment. We got everything at the 99 cent store <laughs> and it's just the quality is not as good as you'd think. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. What, what is a good buy and what is a thing to avoid? Oh, that's a great question. Like I always tell my dad, like you can get anything at the 99 cent store, but maybe don't get your vegetables there. Like, yeah. I just don't know if the veggies are good, but maybe they are. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, you can, you can afford veggies uh, from other places. Imp- impossible to know. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, because like Trader Joe's, I'm pointing in the direction of a Trader Joe's, people are like, don't buy the vegetables there. Mm-hmm. Or, don't buy their pre-made salads or anything like that. And that's like, their whole presentation it makes you feel, I mean, I guess like comfortable middle Fresh class or whatever, and, yeah. essentially of like, no, it's all good here. Right. I'm having grape issues recently. I feel like... <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> Do, uh, everywhere I shop, um, the grapes are rotted from the beginning. Mm, I feel like I can't catch a break. I've, I've recently got good grapes from Sprouts. Really? Sprouts. And it's not all Sprouts, but it, the, the Sprouts that I went to. But I, I'm with you. Do you guys try the fruits at the grocery store i used to get so scared when my mom would eat a grape or my dad at a grocery store my beforehand. M- my mom would do it and i copied it and like you know pandemic it's a little bit uh different but i've gone back to like i'll pluck a grape out i'll i'll do my little wash oh, with good. my hands and i'll try it because you don't know they could look mm-hmm. good but be bad and i'm not willing to, to like buy mealy? the grapes. is that what's bad or, or... i just i need i want to taste it before i buy it and i'll yeah. buy it and I will put on a show because people do look at me and I don't know what they're thinking. They could be thinking nothing, right? But I, I will like mm-hmm. be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll pick it up and like, <laughs> like really, really examine thinking. like, oh. <laughs> I'm not or, just coming here to eat grapes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Or I'll overplay and I'll be like, <laughs> like I'll really like. You see, on... I have a good reason to put this exactly, one back. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll really like play in, into it. But yeah, Sprouts had, had some good ones. I feel like the moment I start eating store food, I'm a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> the way so Tony you don't is. try the grape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't try the grape. You just get home and go, shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's yeah. why you're having grape issues. Yeah. yeah. But and then I bring it back and I No. Say, uh, really only for clementines at Trader Joe's recently. Mm. I brought them back because they were all rotted. Now that's uh, but- brave. 
Because uh, I to, wouldn't do that. Really? Yeah. Because you think it's like insulting to them or what? I don't know. Maybe just the whole process of it. But but that's what I mean. Trying trying the fruit before you do it. But, but it yeah. would have saved me. It would have saved Food you. Food kind of seems like you break it. But sometimes you, you don't it. always get. Into so those for that parts. at Trader Joe's, that would be breaking open. The uh, thing that's what I mean. Time. Like you can't always do that. Then, but I think if you ask somebody of like, hey, can I try this? I think like the produce person could do that, or they'll give you a look. I don't uh, know. I would love try to test the bounds of a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> How much can I taste? Hi, excuse me. Um, uh, could I get some help from a? Uh, um, Somebody who's not on the uh, cash register right now. Somebody who's oh yeah, a yeah, wandering sure. employee what, uh, or anything. Yeah, what, what can I help you with? Um, I just there was a, something I wanted to test the quality of. Oh, okay, uh, I just wanted help from an employee if that's all right. Yeah, absolutely. What? Uh... Um, these dark chocolate covered pretzels here. Um, I was wondering if um you could witness me opening the bag and uh trying one really quickly and just uh... making sure that they're up to quality. <sighs> they're really good. They're really really good. Those this are actually one of my the... favorites. This bag is well, yeah. The anything that's bagged like this is sort of standardized. It's uh-huh. it's closer to a non perishable than it is to like a fruit. So we don't really do samples of these kind of things. Okay, I appreciate it. That's a Jeff guarantee. Beg your pardon, Jeff. Are you guaranteeing me of that? <laughs> no, I didn't say Jeff guarantee. Okay, so could uh, I try I, I, one? I, I'm, I'm sorry to butt in. Right off the bat, uh, sir. I, I, no, I was happy to have a Jeff guarantee. I'm sorry to butt in. Uh, I'm I'm training Jeff today. Uh, and, oh. and Jeff, we do give a customer guarantee. Oh yes, uh, at right. this store. So uh, sorry, uh, this is Phil. He's uh, he's hi, my Phil. boss. So could I call this a Phil and Jeff guarantee then, or could I just do what would be way easier and open this bag and try a dark chocolate covered pretzel? I'm guessing I'll like it, and I'm guessing it'll be up to quality. What do we do here, Phil? Oh, we give the Jeff and Phil guarantee. We guarantee those pretzels. They're going to be good. Okay. You should buy them and take them home. I'm happy to hear it. And and I'm glad Jeff's here, and I'm glad uh, it looks like you got rid of Rhonda because her guarantees were shit. Uh, Rhonda we was causing a huge number of issues in the store, and you'll never be seeing her again. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was a very quick throw under the bus. What happened with Rhonda? <laughs> I'll go into detail on it. Later. Okay. We, yeah. We don't oh want my to God. Yeah, well, we I'm not surprised based on the way that she talked about the cookie butter, which I ended up bringing home and it did have a little bit of oil on top. So I'm good. To, I'm glad to see she's gone. And I hope that she never gets to work anywhere ever again. Yeah. Let's just say wow. she was a horrible employee and a worse wife. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I assume you mean you, your wife. To, to me. <laughs> Okay, well then I it is your right to talk about Rhonda, I guess, however yeah. you feel is I would say I've earned it. <laughs> well, it's hard to hear that. I gotta be honest, it is just hard to hear that that you guys are commiserating so negatively over Rhonda. Well, it seems like, you know, people have patterns and uh, Rhonda's treatment and flippant treatment of the store's guarantee system uh seems like it actually happened at home as well. That's right. There was a lot of guarantees she made to me on our wedding day. Uh, some might call them vows. Mm. Oh, we cut to the vows. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, sorry, Rhonda. Uh, no, Ra- Rhonda okay. will now make the uh, her vows to Phil. Phil. <laughs> yes, darling. Uh, I guarantee you're gonna love the way you look. <laughs> oh my God, I love you so I'm much. I'm gonna today. make you feel like a man. I know you will, baby. And when you come over to the grocery store that we both work at, I'm gonna go nuts. Under the objections, on your nuts. <laughs> you. What? With what? I might. I'm gonna go nuts in your nuts. Oh, baby, come here. <laughs> oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh, object, oh, object, object. <laughs> We're not married. Not We're yet. not married it's, yet. It's We're not, not married yet. Sorry, it's not time for the kiss, and it's oh, also not time I'm for the sorry, objection, I sir. Hold myself back. Um, all right, it's all right. It's all right. Um, uh, keep continue, Rhonda. Unless you were done there, I couldn't tell. I'll be done. <laughs> all right, Wonderful. I have more, but I'll be done. Whatever you want, Rhonda. It's no, okay. I guarantee to you to yeah. make you feel like a woman every day. What does that mean? To honor the very ground you walk on at our grocery yeah. store that we both work yeah. at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to kiss it. Yeah. And yeah. to go. Uh, it's very conversational. Uh, 
make sir. Uh, <laughs> excuse me wait is he, excuse me no, I just, sorry just somebody I, I actually don't know who this is but somebody in the wedding party is uh, very eager to I object we're having a conversation up here <laughs> yeah, that should be conversational in a sense we're, uh, we're talking about a promise okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, wait, no, so we want to know about it yeah we want to hear the objection yeah. I don't think this is going to work out you guys I don't think this is going to work out well, well, I'm well, Ronda's well. younger brother. Look who this is. never happens. My brother. How many times have you been on the altar? <laughs> on the altar? As a sacrifice or as a <laughs> as a wedding? Sacrifice? Do you hear sacrifice what five times, never went through with it. <laughs> wedding seven times. Very unique. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that, huh, everybody? No seconds? <laughs> Okay. So usually the objections don't come from the younger brother of the bride, um, but it is, and it's also still not time. But Steve, I got to tell you, you're dead wrong about this one. <laughs> I love this woman. I know she's been married a number of times, but this is going to work. <laughs> Big flex from Rhonda on the I love this woman, both arms. Good for you, Phil. I, like I wish strong? you nothing I... but the best. What? I wish you nothing but the best. I just don't know how well this is going to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're dead wrong on that. She said she's going to go crazy on your nuts. Uh, Phil, come on in here. Exactly. Um, it looks like um, well, there's no way to give you this news because I know it's going to be disappointing. But Rhonda um, has threatened a lawsuit uh, against what? the corporation and uh, for wrongful termination. Rhonda Z or my wife Rhonda R. Your wife Rhonda R. Yeah. <laughs> Ron disease uh, we have not heard from, um, but, but to per your wife, she said uh, she would drop the lawsuit if we would allow her to work here again. Um, so, well, if Ron disease quitting, I'm quitting too. <laughs> if the other Ron is quitting, I'm quitting. <laughs> Look, it's okay. We, we the Rondas don't have to ride together. You work very well here, Rhonda. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So, Jeff. Are you cool with Rhonda staying? I know you guys have had your own beef. Just- I will quit too. <laughs> I will quit too if Rhonda Z's out of here and Rhonda O is almost out of here. I'm out of here too. We will reunite. We will reunite <laughs> with the Rhondas. Is that unionized? We but will. With an R it's, a it's a Rhonda It's a Rhonda it's union. A union. <laughs> Please. Uh, I've gathered everybody here because there's been a lot of talk about reunionizing. Um, and Woo! I just want to talk to the employees Woo! about why that Woo! would not be a couple of woos and I think some roos from the Rondas. Hell no. Hell no. I don't know hey, what hey. your demands are. $50 minimum wage. Fifth, yeah. Rooster, our store. Rooster, our store. Roo, 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 roo. I've roo, lost the meeting roo, so roo, quickly. Roo, roo. I would like some help from some of the non Ronda employees here, honestly, who must think that this is a little absurd. Yeah, Phil here. Uh,. I think this is crazier than my. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! All you awful Rondas. <laughs> this is what you do every time you make promises, but you can't keep them. I, I Phil, let's I keep bet, it to the store stuff. I bet you let's keep the store stuff, right? <laughs> oh, I, I There's bet, a lot of legitimate bet, business oh. complaints about the Rondas, right, Phil? Well, I, I'm just not too worried. I think they say they're going to reunize, but I don't think they're really going to do it. That's okay. what Rondas... You said that about <laughs> the... <laughs> 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 You were all so normal when we hired you. Not, well, one of you Rondas wasn't. But, uh, how did the uh, there be multiple Rondas turn you into animals? There's power in numbers. We're being our real selves. Yeah. Ronda. <laughs> Ronda. See? Oh, my gosh. Folks, we do, we do it every week, and we've done it again. Another Man Dog Pod. I'm I, always surprised but pleasantly how fun and easy these are. I couldn't agree what more. A treat. <laughs> um, thank you so much to our guests for being here. Tony, 
Thank you where, so much for having me. Where can people find you and what would you like to plug? We've got Bang Rang every month at UCB That's Fridays. That's true. The last uh, of Friday uh, of the month at UCB if you're uh, in town. And uh, yeah, that's all. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ben, what about you? Where can people find you on the internet or what you got going on? Uh, at Ben Green 6 is the Instagram. And... Uh, I I'll plug videogale.com. It's like the first chapter of a video game I made. I want to make mm-hmm. cool. more chapters someday. Cool. When I can wow. get my shit together. Love it. What what is it again? Uh it's the story of an old woman who gets uh zapped into a video game. It's I very it. sweet. What what is it called again? Video Gale. Video Gale. Like her G-A- name is Gale. G A L E. Thank you. It's uh-huh. the, <laughs> and the video game uh-huh. is something you plug into a TV. I was I was really impressed to get the website. It's mm-hmm. video. It's like the same as videogame.com, which seems like a really good website to have gotten. Right. Just one letter off. Wow. Video That's great. Gale. That's great. Super fun. Everybody and check that out. We will just get Tony's sip of the old water here <laughs> and see how we're doing. That's old water. Yeah. No, you had no idea. <laughs> well, I'll say not a criticism. Just, not uh, a criticism. That's true. Just, that's old water. Yeah. Folks, uh, thanks so much for listening. We want to thank Trent and Oliver for editing all of our episodes. Uh, Casey Trailer for our wonderful theme song and Annie Wu for our logo. Of course, all of our listeners, all of our patrons, our friends for being here today. Uh, what else, Dan? Anything and else we that's all. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Oh, thanks thank for you. being here, guys. What a treat. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Bye. 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 What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done. A huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day.